God, look at my hair. Alrighty, so, a new day in the Smith studio. Right, so, this is a painting I've been working on over the last week. Um, almost finished, almost finished, but I just wanted to show you how I do some of these wintry branches we have. You look at the reference photograph, you can see on the left hand side, we still have that to add to my painting here. Pretty similar. I think there's probably a little bit more going on in the um, top here than there is in mine, which I may well adjust as I go on, but I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do these bits here. Now, this, this is part of a lesson, or it's going to be part of a lesson on MJS TV. Uh, there's a link in the description, or I think it's that side, check on the, uh, or click on the pop-up up there. Um, I, I think this is lesson 45 or 50. There's loads and loads of lessons on there. All filmed in real time. There's no time lapse. From start to finish, from the very first bit of paint that goes on the panel to the last, it's all filmed and I talk about everything, going into colour mixing and all things like that. So feel free to go and check that. There's also a free lesson on there. So if you want to try it, you can without having to register or pay or anything like that. So have a look at that. But I want to show you how I do that now. Okay, so as we said, there's not a great deal more to do. There's a little bit of um, detailing to put up here. And there's also these branches that are coming over the snow here. Um, we're going to do that now. We'll do this, pit, do this bit here now. But there's a few more that are coming in from a little bit higher up here. Um, it's not going to actually take too long. We're going to get the majority of the darker branches in first, then we're going to lay the snow on top. Uh, to do that, we are going to use, we're going to start with the Series 1 size 0. Um, putting in this one in particular, it comes right down over this area here, actually, to about that point there. So let's get that in. This larger branch that is coming in from the side is has a certain warmth to it. So about here I would say it's coming in just roughly and it drops down in this direction. Obviously I'm being careful. I don't want the branch to be straight. It has to have a little bit of a kink and obviously it has some branches coming off of that, some twigs coming off of it. So I'm running down here. It's obviously going over the top of the branches I've already put in. I'm also paying attention to the thickness of this branch. Now something that I do, I tend to do, is if I'm going to get the thickness wrong, for me, I always tend to, it always tends to be a little bit skinnier than it is in the photograph. So I'm just paying a bit more attention to that, making sure that it's the correct thickness. paint has been thinned down just enough so that I can get a flow. I don't want to thin it down too much if I can. The problem is the more you thin it down, especially painting over the light colour, the more it's thinned down the less uh, coverage you're going to get. So it'll tend to, because you're picking up the colour underneath. It's almost like imagine a stained glass window. It's thin, you can see through it. You don't really want to see through it too much. You want it to be a nice strong and good coverage. Just building up the density of of uh, this branch here. Ok, 
Okay, so continuing down. Now I know that we are now starting to paint over a darker background and the majority of the colours, or the majority of the thing that is making this stand out is the snow on top of the on top of the branches, but we still have that darker component to it that we're going to put in. Just a few more areas just coming in from the bottom here and then I think we're pretty much safe to start putting on some of those snow the snow areas so there are very much I would say a light blue because we are painting this snow now over a, a light uh, a much lighter color uh, behind I think this could do with being slightly darker. Maybe that. It needs to needs to stand out. Let's just have a look. Yeah, so that's probably around the colour we need. And all I'm going to do is run along pretty much the top of most of these twigs, adding or with a, almost with a stipple really, adding the snow. I'm not worried about going over the darker lines that we put in to a certain extent in fact that would probably help it for example here we have this dark line here and I can drop in over the top of that a little as well just doing a small stippled effect fact the area near the top here I think probably needs to be lighter so I'm just adding some white and a bit of um, cerulean blue it just stands out a little more I don't know why almost doing broken lines because one of the things we do have is some of the darker branches do run over the top um, of the bit areas of snow that we're putting in now in, in some areas at least so we might end up putting some more darker bits in as we go reference photograph these bits here are obviously closer to the 
to the viewer because they're slightly out of focus. I'm not going to um, do the same. I think we're just going to keep them in focus like we have everything else. So not copying it so faithfully. So there you go, that's simple stuff, but as you can see, it's quite effective. Um, so give that a go in your own work. If you're painting a wintry scene, that's the technique you need. But one thing I will say is you need to have the right tools. Um, having the correct brushes is pretty important. Um, my set is available from my website, link in the description. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and with a bit of luck, I'll see you in the next video. So take care everybody, and if you can remind me before the next lesson to at least brush my hair or wet it and dampen it down, and be much appreciated. Um, I blame you for not reminding me when I woke up this morning. Anyway, bye for now.